Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a uh, vegan chicken style uh, shawarma. So, I've already made most of it. So I'm going to put it together, but I will go through, you know, what exactly this is. Um, for my other video that I made for American Chop Suey, I made a beef version of the flavorings. And I will show the flavoring list again. And I stand by it. I don't always use as much of the um, vegetable stock that they recommend. Um, I just, the, it's too much liquid, so. And I like this flavoring to be really strong, which this is. So I brown this up. This is tofu that I got from Trader Joe's. We did a Trader Joe's shopping uh, spree there, so we thought we'd try out all of their oil-free vegan options and though there were not many there were some things that I could get there that I have not been able to get at Whole Foods so I was pleasantly surprised. Their tofu extra firm is really nice and that's what we have here. I'm going to heat that up and I'm going to make a really cool uh, vegan shawarma plate. Rice. It's my nemesis. Trader Joe's made this. Oh my godness. This is done so fast. I just grab this bag right here, put it in the microwave for three minutes, and it's done. So I'm going to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to start slicing up my fresh veggies. Okay, now we have all the parts to make the shawarma. We have the chicken style tofu, extra firm. We have our brown rice. We also have, and I was afraid to say because I don't know if it's tzatziki or tahini. Uh, this is the sauce, the um, dressing rather. And here's the recipe for it. You can't go wrong with this recipe. It's going to be spicy. Mine turned out to be a lot spicier than I anticipated, but I don't plan to use a lot of it on on the uh, meal to ruin it or anything. So let's plate this. We are going to add our highly spicy seasoning. Whatever I'm saying. My dog is really throwing me off here. Dressing! He let me say tzatziki dressing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am doing a vegan chicken style shawarma. It is pretty massive, so... I make no promises to finish, but I had to tell you, ever since the marathon, my I've been hungry. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Tastes like shawarma? I love this. Um. There you go. One of the things that 
when switching to vegan, I wanted to make sure that some of my favorite plates could be um, replicated, and sure enough, they can. And one of them is this shawarma. Mm. Mm. The dressing is so good. Mm. The cucumber, the little bit of olive, a little bit of everything in it. I'm not using the microphone right now. I think I'd rather get a new camera than have to <laughs> deal with the editing of... What I do is... Mm, mm, I, um, I have my cell phone hooked up with this microphone. Um, because this camera doesn't use this type of microphone. And so I would have, in my editing program, I would have two. I would have two videos. And I would reduce the sound on this camera and raise the sound on the other one while um, getting rid of the video from the camera, from the cell phone, rather. You know what? Never mind. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mm. Vegan shawarma. Mmm. This is also oil free. This is what it's about. Mmm. I don't really know what to talk about because I spent time talking on my post marathon um mukbang this morning but since then I've worked out just my biceps today I shouldn't say, even say just I worked my biceps today and um, I was kind of surprised about my concentration curls failed a lot my biceps failed a lot sooner on my concentration curls than I anticipated mm-hmm But I did obviously concentration curls, alternating curls, and hammer curls. I had a bunch of chest exercises I was going to do. But, nope. <laughs> My body was like, okay, biceps, that's good. <laughs> I, def I raised the weights from the last time. So I started at 12.5. I did a warm-up set of those, and then I moved to 15 pounds, and then did three sets. So, mm, this is really freaking good. <laughs> Again, this is definitely one of the meals that if I had a restaurant, I would have as a staple. Absolutely. Nice big healthy plate. Mmm. You got kale in here. Two olives. I'm not gonna cry over about the fat in this. Mmm. The tahini and the tzatzikis also um, also provide some fat. Isn't that nice? I put it that way. These olives provide fat. Also the tofu. Mm. This is freaking good. You follow that, follow the recipe for the sauce, for the um, sauce dressing. I better pick a word by now. Dressing. Mmm.
This is a meal that plays on temperatures too. So I don't know if anyone likes having like that kind of raw, cooler temp veggies with, you know, warm rice and, and tofu, but I do. I definitely love it like this. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was hungry. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But I have a feeling I'm going to be quite happy after this. If I'm not, I'm going to cry out for help. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't know why it's so difficult for local places to figure out no oil. It's not difficult to do. I mean, you're like introducing like unnecessary damage to the end, uh, endothelial cells into a meal. It's not necessary. Mm -mm. I like to do a shout out though to P.F. Chang's. You done good by me. We went to P.F. Chang's and I was able to get the lettuce wraps and um, green beans and garlic. And they also had an eggplant dish that my wife got. And they did all of that up oil free for us. It was awesome. I was wildly impressed by that. <laughs> Not so much that they're able to do it, because of course they are, but that they did it. Mm. We lost one. No. I said I wasn't going to eat all this. I think I am. We shall see. Alright. This isn't too hard. This isn't too hard to make. You just got to eat your tofu. You know, if you're good at rice, good for you. I'm not. I love my Insta rices and, and whatever, so long as there's no oil in them. And, um, again, you, this is the produce section. Some tahini, yeah, you know. Mmm. So good. This is so good. The cucumbers in it. Oh. If you really like the cucumber, I have made this with um, by adding the cucumber to the tzatziki dressing. So I'm glad I got my workout done.
He's so mad today. It is raining and cold out. Which means we're not going for a walk out there. <laughs> yep. And, um... And he's not eating. Tell you these little dogs are so smart. I don't know if they're smart or they're just moody. I don't know. No, they're smart. I don't think they're cat smart. Cats freak me out. I have much respect for them. I'm just mad. I might. I just rather step back and say, you know what? Cats are smarter than me. I just respect them from a distance. I would never try to be a cat owner. I don't think I have. I don't have the wherewithal for that. <laughs> We've had three small dogs total. We've had a Toy Fox Terrier was our first one. Teeny, teeny, tiny baby. So cute. <laughs> no, that was a five to eight pound dog. That was it. Very small dog. Then we had a red miniature pincher. The t king of toys for a reason. Mini pincher, miniature pinchers are smart. Mmm. Real smart. <laughs> and then, we have our Chihuahua. Who's an absolute joy. He really is. He has a very kind soul, and he's, um, or spirit, whatever. He, um, he's just gentle, like, and he has that kind of old man look in his eyes, like he has wisdom or something behind there. <laughs> he's really a great pet. I don't know why I'm, something's wrong with my eating right now. <laughs> I only seem to be getting like half of the food in my mouth. Mm. I can't believe I did it again. No, this is good. I'm hungry for a reason. You know, and I have to trust it. So long as I'm eating my SOS vegan, I'm not too concerned. Mm. So here you have it. Yeah, I'll just made vegan shawarma. And if there are any local restaurants, would like to figure this out. It's not too difficult. You get some vegan customers, that'd be cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will do a video on how and what we are going to sneak into the movie theater for the Avengers premiere. <laughs> I'm thinking definitely 
salsa with some chips, tortilla chips I I make here. It's going to smell so good. They're going to be like, what? That might be suspect. Um, I'm going to make some homemade Snickers, vegan Snickers. 53 calories each. What? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And, um, maybe some rice cakes or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, we'll show you. Maybe we can get a video of it and show us getting busted. <laughs> That'd be so us. <laughs> Until next time. I did.